Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> oh boy, we're off to a great start. Hi, everyone. Susan Campfield here. Welcome to my craft room. I hope you're doing well. Tonight we're going to create together. I feel like I'm. <laughs> I feel like I've been running. My desk is a disaster. The floor all around me. There's piles of designer paper. I'm full on craft room and creation mode, and. It's crazy here. So we're going to take a break. We're going to take a break and we're going to get a uh, make a fun fold cart together. And I hope you'll uh, vote and pitch in and help me decide on what we make here. So um, fixing my camera, all the things. Thank you all so much for making and sending handmade cards together. We're making the world a better place. I see in the comments a lot of chatter about the uh, clearance rack refresh that went live in the wee hours of this morning. Uh, oh, some amazing bargains. I know a lot of you took advantage of that. Um, also, I am having uh, an additional incentive, a um, little special gift for me in, in December. So when you place a $50 order in my online store, you always get the crafting class for the next month. So uh, if you place an order in December, you're going to get the January crafternoon packet, which of course will be all new things from Mini. Uh, but also if you place a $50 order in December, you're going to get a found it pack in the mail from me. Um, if your order is $50 or higher, you're going to get a found it pack. Inside are some fun things to help inspire your, inspire your creativity. I've got card samples in here. I've got ribbon, uh, embellishments, designer paper, all the fun things that uh, will hopefully just get you creating. So um, if you place $50 order, you're going to get Craftinoon, you're going to get the Found It Pack. Now, if your order is $75, you're going to get even more stuff in here. If your order is $100, you're going to get even more stuff <laughs> in here to create with. So, um, and you don't need a host code, nothing like that. Just make sure you're ordering in my online store and you're all set. So tonight we're going to make a fun fold card. Oh my gosh, you guys, like my desk is so messy. I know you're shocked, right? <clears throat> yeah, it's all that's pretty much typical around here. And this is what happens. I lose things because I make a mess when I craft. Uh, it's just how my brain works. So we play a little game. We play the found it game. So if when I lose something and I find it again, we all take a sip of our beverage. So let me know what's in your cup tonight. I have ice water in my cup, my kind of go to here. So um, let's go ahead and get started. We're making the Dutch door uh, card tonight. So I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> Can't flip my camera, you guys. Oh my gosh. It looks like a bomb went off. Okay, hang on. Let me just move. Oh, geez, Susan. Really? Seriously? Oh, what are we going to do with me? Oh my gosh. Okay. Mm. You know what? It just is what it is. Right, friends? It's just like, I'll just... <laughs> I got birds on here. I got secrets. I think I moved. Oh, no, I didn't move all the secret stuff. Oh, got to move that. Top secret. Top secret. All right, let's, let's go ahead. We got hot spice tea. Oh, that sounds delicious. Powdered lemonade mix. Mm, all the things. Oh, thank you, Jennifer, for mentioning that. The found it packs. I have a limited number. Uh, when we hit that limited number, they are gone. So it won't be for all month long. It'll be however until we run out, right? So uh, thank you for mentioning that, Jennifer. Um, let's go ahead and find the right button. Ha! I found a button. Oh, my, look at this. Oh, my goodness. I cleared a spot. So we got, we got celebration birds flying in. <laughs> to join the party. Okay, you guys need to go in your basket. You're not you're not here yet. I got I got mm, I got pink trees from our last video adventure that I never washed. Yeah. Mhm. Mm oh my heavens to Betsy. Okay, so tonight we're going to play with the modern uh, excuse me, Garden Walk Designer <laughs> Just shove it out of the way. Just shove it out of the way. The Garden Walk Designer series paper. Um, now, I recently did a card with this pretty garden walk paper um, and the uh, Heartfelt Hexagon bundle. This Heartfelt Hexagon bundle is in the new catalog, the new mini catalog that's going to be coming out in January. And uh, I did send out an email communication to those of you who have ordered this past year, um, last night, and well, in the wee hours of the morning. <laughs> and um, if you don't need a catalog, just email me and let me know. Otherwise, you'll be getting a mini catalog and celebration brochure soon. Um, let me just clear some stuff out of the way. Where is the other one I did? Oh, yeah. We also did 
um, this one with the heartfelt hexagon, and this is the Delicate Florals um, Designer Series paper, which is so, so pretty. Uh, but we're going to uh, create with this one tonight, and we're going to do what's called a oh, hmm, Christmas set. Yeah, don't need that. Did Susan put away what she had last time? Uh-uh, she didn't. Um, so we are going to make a, a gift card holder again this time of year. I am on a gift card holder kick. So that heartfelt hexagon, um, it works really great for a gift card holder as well. So, um, did we do that in the last, the pink Christmas card we did? Hang on, let me grab it. Mm, where did it go? Hang on. Oh gosh. Here it is. I found it. Take a sip, everyone. We got our first found, found it of the night. So in the last video, we made this beautiful stacked and layered uh, Christmas tree. And we did put that gift card pocket in here. That hexagon punch makes a perfect gift card pocket. It's just the right width. So your card fits right in there. And then after the video, I made this one with the Bright and Beautiful Designer Series paper. And I just cut out the, the tree and um, talk about easy peasy, right? So same card, I just didn't add the ribbon, but I made a glimmery uh, uh, bubble bath uh, uh, topper on my, on my tree. And I didn't, I didn't even finish the inside of the card. What a, how lazy am I? All right, so we're gonna make a Dutch door card tonight. And um, we're gonna use the Walk in the Garden Designer Series paper. And I would like you guys to tell me what what um what we're gonna use so we are gonna make one you know we're gonna start we're gonna make a christmas one that because you know gift card holders for christmas are helpful so we're gonna make one with this but let's make two cards tonight why not <laughs> so for our second card we're gonna use one of these two papers for the second card so let me know which one you would like um, number one or number two. So we've got soft pastels or bold and bright. So let me know one or two, which one we want to do for that second card. And I'll go ahead and pull out, yeah, I guess I need that. I'll leave that out. I'm going to pull out the supplies to make this version and I can walk you through how to do this Dutch door card and then we'll make a second one together. So I'm seeing ones, I'm seeing twos. Oh my gosh, it's a boy. It's pretty neck. Oh, I'm seeing more twos. Mm. Ah, you guys tricked me. I thought you'd go for the go for the safe road, but I'm seeing a few more of the wild wheat. So let's do it. All right. So we're going to start. I'm going to put this aside. One, two, one, two, one, two. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing a lot of twos. All right. We're going to start with making our Christmas one first. Okay. So we're going to use this paper. And for this card, I am using um, both sides of the designer paper. Um, we'll use a piece for the, where we put this side up, the kind of more calm side <laughs> and then for this one we'll use um, the the pretty pattern size so i've got my cardstock here um i buried my paper trimmer oh my goodness susan all right i found the punch though found it take a sip everyone let's see if we can Aha! found a paper trimmer i have several i got a pink star hanging out over there we don't need that right now <laughs> All right. Oh, goodness gracious. All right. We have eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and we are going to cut it in half at five and a half. Let's do it right, Susan. All right. So I'm cutting it in half. So five and a half. So it's now eight and a half by five and a half. And then I am going to score it at four and a quarter. Now this is the Dutch door card. Um, there's also something called a barn door card that is the, the horizontal version of this card. And then there's also the double Dutch door card. So we might have to play around with those in the next few videos. So now what we're gonna do, if you're familiar with the Dutch door, it's a half door. So we're gonna be cutting out the upper portion of our card, okay? And so we're gonna chop this off and we're gonna cut it at two and a half inches. So I'm gonna lay it in my paper trimmer. This is the top of the card, this is the side. I'm gonna lay it in at two and a half. And I'm gonna lower my blade here. And I wanna slide my blade until I get to the score line. It's also going to coincide with the four and a quarter inch mark on the side. I realize you can't see that because this is dark cardstock and the numbers are dark. It would show up better on white. But you just stop when you get to that score line and then raise that up. And now take out your card, rotate it, put it back in the paper trimmer so that the score line is right in the cutting track. 
and you're going to cut down again to that two and a quarter inch, or excuse me, two and a half inch mark. So you can either stop when the uh, little groove on the side of your blade hits that um, cut line or when it hits two and a half. And so this just comes out of here just like that. And now we can fold our card. Now I do find it's better to cut this before you crease on the fold because once you crease on the fold, you often get this weird kind of little lip deal going on when you cut it off that um, just because you've already creased it. So don't crease it, put your score in there and cut it before it's flat. But let me show you the little groove I'm talking about. So right here, it does not show very well, there we go. Right there, that's where the blade is. So you can bring that to that two and a, uh, two and a half inch mark and stop because you know that's where the blade is right in the center there. So I hope that helps. And yes, this is pretty peacock. Uh, thank you, Mary Wessling for mentioning that because I don't think I did. All right, so now I can go ahead and safely grab a bone folder. It's not my pretty one. <laughs> I'm supposed to have a pretty one here for videos, but holy heck, who knows where that is in this disaster. Um, so we've got our, our Dutch door all set, and now we're going to decorate it. So that's where our paper comes in. So this upper portion, this card is five and a half inches tall, right? We cut off two and a half inches, which leaves a three inch piece here. So we're going to cut our designer paper a little bit smaller than that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut, I'm going to flip it over to this side and I'm going to cut a two and three quarter inch, two and three quarter inch by a four inch piece. Okay, and this is a pretty tone on tone that's going to decorate this lower panel right here. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to use this other side to decorate the front of our card. I'm going to go ahead and hmm, track down some basic whites. Let's grab a fresh piece out here, even though I've got probably a million samples on my desk. Uh, we're going to go ahead. So this, uh, this designer paper for the front of the door was two and three quarters by four. I do have all the dimensions. I will show them at the end of the video here so that you can take a screenshot. Um, so we've got that. And then we're going to cut the basic white piece um, at two and a half by four and a quarter. So I'm going to go to four and a quarter here. And two and a half. And pop this right in here. I totally forgot to mention we have a uh, we will have a project sheet email coming out later this week. Um, this would be a good one. Let me know if you think this would be a good uh, project to have in that project sheet um, email. I've got a whole bunch of car of photos from the Christmas adventures at the Christmas tree farm that I'm excited to share with you. So those will be in the video as well. And now we're going to cut down this piece to decorate the front of our card. So this piece is going to be. Two and a quarter by four. Sorry. <laughs> Took me a minute, didn't it? I was like, that's not that I was reading the wrong one. Two and a quarter by four inches. So let me go here. And you can cut, you know, wherever you want. I'm going to cut here so I can get most of this poinsettia and a lot of that one. Doesn't matter. You could have done it the other way. All right. So we've got that pretty piece right there. Let me set this aside. And I want to just go ahead and adhere this to the front of our white layer piece. That would require some adhesive. Mm -hmm. Oh, rut row. Hang on. Oh my gosh, you guys, seriously. Seriously. Oh, found it. Oh, it's buried and it looks almost empty, but I found one. Oh, you know what? There's another one. There's a full one literally right at would have bit me. Oh my goodness. All right, take a sip, everyone. You might need to take two there. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to add some adhesive to the back of my designer paper. I love this combination of Pretty Peacock and Poppy Parade. It is so bright and cheerful, and it's a little bit vintage. It just reminds me of a little bit of a vintage look. And so I'm going to go ahead and put this one, put some adhesive on the back, and put that on the front of our Dutch door here. Of course, you could use any designer papers, this whole section could be a stamped image instead of a, 
uh, designer paper. I'm doing the super easy button right now. <laughs> All right. So here we've got our, our card is started. We're going to go ahead and put adhesive only on the lower portion of this because the upper portion is going to stick over our door and we don't want to glue our card stuck, uh, card shut. So I'm only putting adhesive at the bottom. You let, you would think this would be a good one for a project sheet. I agree. This one would be nice to have those dimensions where you can just print it out and follow along, right? All right, so there we have our door. It's gonna open like that, fun. All right, and then we've got, um, we wanna put a greeting, a place for a greeting on the inside. So I'm actually going to cut a panel the same size as the designer paper out of basic white. So let's bring that trimmer back in, grab a piece of cardstock, and that designer paper layer was two and a quarter by four. So I'm gonna cut this one two and a quarter by four. like so there we go all right and then that can be our inside sentiment oh put this here all right so now i want to make sure that this doesn't show from the front of the card and the back of this is where i'm going to be putting my uh, gift card holder. Okay, so I'm actually going to lay my piece right here. I know that seems odd, but I'm going to lay it face down. Um, you can stamp it on on it first. That probably would be a good idea. I'm not. I'm going to live. <laughs> I'm going to live dangerously, friends. And I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive on here. And I am going to close the card and rub. And now we've got that panel hidden inside. Who secret. Now it won't show. So uh, Bobby wants to know if I've shown any of the new items that are coming in January. Bobby, if you check out on my channel, the crafter, the last crafter noon video, which was the pretty pleats card. Um, I did a, I did quite a few that were, well, I did this one. Um, there are several in there that are showing the new products. So you can, these are the two main ones and then there's one more too so you can check those out on that video all right so we've got this all done and we're going to go ahead and i have this um, leftover piece so i'm going to stamp my greeting on here and put that on the front and then we're going to put in our gift card and it's going to be super super easy so i'm using the uh, modern garden stamp set here and i am using uh, wishing you the warm blessings of christmas all right, so we've got that inked up in Poppy Parade. And I would really like my Stampin' Mat here to get a better impression. There we go. And then we're going to take the punch that can be part of this bundle. If you get the stamp, you get the bundle option to get the stamp set and the punch. It's called the Modern Oval Punch. Just punch that right out. And that's going to go on the front of our card. Let's just set that aside. And so that I'm going to pop up with dimensionals. And super easy card. Designer series paper is seriously the easy button, isn't it? It makes everything so quick and easy. And we have some beautiful papers right now. I do think this uh, delicate florals would be gorgeous with this. Some of the brand new things would be gorgeous with this. All right, and there we've got our uh, wishing you a blessings of Christmas. Now for the gift card, I'm gonna totally cheat you guys. I'm gonna go again, easy button, hang on, I fell down. <laughs> I am going to use this little gift card envelope. These are actually in the mini catalog. They're kind of hidden. Um, Jennifer can probably, I don't even know, where, where's my mini catalog? Oh my gosh, it's over here. Hang on. Mm. These are retiring and you they're 30% off right now and they're a hidden gem. So just wanted to point those out before they are disappear. And where are they hidden at in here? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to look in the index. Oh boy. Um, index, there they are. They're on page 62. Oh, I thought it was 61. I was close. All right. They're hidden right here. Can you even see them? 
they're just shown in the sample, not in the packaging, so they're really easy to miss. They're normally $6. You get 20 of the little envelopes, and they're on sale 30% off right now, so before they um, retire. So I'm going to use this and just adhere this little pocket inside my card. And it's got a little slot there so I can seal it. So I can put my, I picked this car, gift card because it matches, right? <laughs> it's all matchy-matchy. So then I can slide my gift card in there. It's kind of like uh, Pool Party and Lost Lagoon colors, or Pool Party and uh, Pretty Peacock colors. And seal that up. And then I can put that right here. I can put it down far enough so that once that flaps open, it doesn't show. That would be about down to the bottom. Let's just do that. You could even put a greeting here or right on the card. Totally up to you. And so I'm just going to put it. You might want to use tear and tape for this just so that it doesn't fall off. Um, wouldn't want that gift card to go falling off now, would we? And then they can just slide it right out, go spend it, and uh, display the card on the mantle, right? Just pop it right up there. Oh, I've gotten, oh, I got a little smudgy. I'll have to creatively cover that up. All right, so there we have, oh gosh, I'm sorry, friends, but there, there needs to be some bling. <laughs> I just can't do it. I cannot leave it plain. Now, can I even get to my bling? Because I've literally got, oh, hey, there's the other paper trimmer. I oh, found some dyes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I picked up a whole stack of designer paper. Look what's under it. All sorts of treasures. <laughs> oh, Susan, you are out of control. All right, hang on. Let's find, let's find, let's move some more slime. My goodness, you guys, I'm so embarrassed. Mm. All right, so, so these, um, these are the Blooming Pearls that came with this. They're part of this collection. I don't know if they're sold out or yet or not. I don't think they are. Maybe they're carrying over. I'm not even sure. I bet Jennifer knows. Um, and so I can use some of the pretty peacock colored ones. There were also some Calypso coral ones. I've used them all. They're all gone. All gone. Um, but I think it's, it's Christmas. I think I'm going to go. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I use the pretty peacock or the gold? Hmm. There's also Lost Lagoon here, which is pretty close to the Pretty Peacock. I think I'd go Pretty Peacock or Gold. So let me know in the comments which one you think we should do uh, for that, if we should um, use one of those. And I was just going to look and see. I don't think I'm going to add a ribbon here. I think, I think I'm okay with... Um, I mean, we could. There's this pretty polka dot. Um, it's the right color, even. Poppy Parade Ribbon. It is super cute. Um, let's just try it. Gold, gold, gold. A couple for peacock, most for gold. Now, when you're working with a ribbon like this one where the two sides are different and you just want this side up, let me show you how to do that. I'm just gonna tie a faux bow in the knot here. So I'm poking the end in there. Now, if I pull it tight, that bottom tail is gonna be the back of the ribbon. So right when you get to the knot part, ooh, did I just bump the camera? You give it a twist and then pull it tight and that twists around so that both pieces show, okay? Blooming pearls will still be, they're carrying over and they're still gonna be available. Yay, well good, cause I need, clearly I need more. <laughs> Used up all the, all the Calypso coral ones. All right, let's uh, trim this down nice and short. And you can let me know if you like the so ribbon, yes or no. I know some of you are not ribbon fans. So let me know, yes or no, on the ribbon. I can hold that up a little bit. Why is the water so dark tonight? Hmm. Oh, it seems a little, a little, it was gloomy outside today too. My goodness, here in Minnesota, it was, it, finally the sun came out though, right before I took the dogs out for a walk. So that was good. All right. Um, I think gold was the winner. Does anyone see a take your pick tool? That would be awesome. I've got a ruler. Susan needs to learn how to put her things away. All right. Um, I found my, oh, here it is right in front of me. Oh my goodness. Take your pick tool right here. I almost used the one with the dye brush attachment, which of course would have worked. Um, so let's add a little Christmas bling on here with some, um, I like the big baubles. They just seem more Christmassy and festive. I don't know. This is where I, I like to futz around a light of, uh, quite a bit and decide where I want to put it. There's so many options. Um, what are you guys thinking about? Yes on the ribbon, no ribbon, yes, no ribbon. It's 
kind of torn, but I'm seeing a few more yeses. So we'll go with the yeses on the ribbons. So I think since we're going to keep the ribbon, I might do all the bling down here. No, I'll do one up here. All right. And then we'll just put this on with a glue dot. Cross your fingers, friends. Oh, the glue dots are where they belong. Well, that's a, that's a miracle right there. All right, I'm going to peel this back, grab a glue dot, stick it on here. Uh, demonstrators have had a very exciting day today because the new mini catalog uh, pre-order went live today. So one of the perks about being a demonstrator, um, when you purchase the starter kit, you're a demonstrator and you get all the demonstrator perks, um, is that you get to take advantage of pre-order. You get to order things a month early. So not only can we order the new products, we can also pre-earn the celebration things. Um, I do like that. I just want to trim it a little bit. It seems a little long to me. My ribbon's a little, oh, that's cuter. You just need a little cute bow right there. Okay, I'm happier with that. All right, so there we have our um, easy Christmas gift card holder with the Dutch door. And we can put a greeting in here. I don't know why my camera is going, zooming out. I hope you guys can't see that because it's, it's really weird. All right, so we've got our first one done. Now we're going to move on to our second one. And I believe this was the winner. I did see quite a few for this one. So I'll tell you what, after the video, I will make this one up and I'll post it on our Sue Stampfield Facebook page. Um, anyone is welcome to join that. All right, we're going to go wild wheat here. So let's get some wild wheat. Let's get wild. Uh, let's see, here we go. Actually, I have a question. So we can make our card base wild wheat for this one. No, I think that's the way to go. I was going to say we could also do it poppy parade, but I forgot this is the other side of the paper that I want to use for the bottom. So yeah, we're going to go wild wheat. Um, and we're going to grab a paper trimmer, not put it on upside down. And we're going to just do the same thing again. You, so you guys are going to get this um, really get this down all right let me just shove enough stuff out of the <laughs> please tell me that your desk gets messy like mine that i'm not the only one all right let's cut the paper correctly susan so we're cutting our paper in half which in the u.s here is going to be five and a half by eight and a half and then we're going to score it at four and a quarter i like these colors too they're different right they're unexpected and they're bold and they really pop and it's not something i probably ever would have thought up on my own so that's another fun thing about designer series paper it kind of gets you thinking outside the box all right so we've scored it at four and a quarter but we're not going to fold that remember we're not going to fold that because we're going to cut our dutch door and hey anki's here from uh, i'm probably butchering how you pronounce your name from the netherlands we're making a dutch door so um so happy you could tune in so i am going to now we can do this either way last time let's do it the same way we did last time we're going to put it so that the end of our card is at the top and we're going to go at the two and a half inch button here or uh, mark and we're going to cut with our with our blade down to that score mark at the four and a quarter inch mark so let me bring this up here i am stopping when the groove of my paper trimmer lines up with the score line okay now we're going to take that out we're going to rotate our cards so the top is as uh, the top of the card is at the top of the trimmer we're going to line up the score line in that cutting groove and we're going to put our blade up at the top and we're going to cut down to the two and a half inch mark and stop right there and that just cut out that whole upper section now that we have that cut out, we can go ahead and score on this. I'm not going to let my trimmer get too far away. Aha, found it. It was under the punch. Of course it was uh, because I want to um, cut our paper next. So let's bring that trimmer back in. All right, you put white white paint on the groove of the cutter. Oh, that's a good idea. Or you I suppose you could also use um, nail polish, right? So we're going to cut our designer paper at, um, let's see, which side am I doing here? I need to think because this one is directional. So I like, I think I'd like to do these lines up and down. 
Let's go with that. You can also do them side to side. Really doesn't matter. I'm going to go up and down. And so I'm going to cut this for the door at two and three quarters by four. By four. So we've got our pretty. So it reminds me of wallpaper, especially with this stripe. And this, this color is a... Um, it's almost like a chartreuse color. It's kind of a greenish, but yet golden cast to it. All right, so let's grab our adhesive here. Oh, it's a shame to cover up that side, but don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna have it show off very soon. So here we go. Put the front on our door right there. Okay, so there's our Dutch door. And if you didn't want to, if you wanted to keep this wide open, you know, could do all your decorations inside the card or just on the lower portion of the door, totally up to you. I like the uh, elongated piece there on the front, but with the surprise of the half door opening. And of course this one is a double surprise inside with the gift card. All right, so we're gonna go back here and we're gonna cut some basic white. I'm going to do this. use our white layer again here. Let me just check that. Oh, I don't know if I want to use that. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. Um, let me know in the comments. Should we do a white layer on this or what are other options? Let's take a look. This is what's so easy about working with designer paper. It tells you the colors, right? It's right on the back of the package. And so we could go Mossy Meadow for our layer piece. That's what that would look like, give you an idea. Or we could go with a pop <laughs> of Poppy Parade. We even could pull in the Calypso Coral, but for my money, there's not a lot, not enough in here. So I want one of these three. So I would love you to give me a, and the mossy meadow is pretty, isn't it? Um, let me know in the comments if we're gonna go poppy, mossy, and all our, our, our ending in white ones here, <laughs> poppy, mossy, or white. Good old white, which is not anywhere in the paper. And while you're voting on that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. So let's see here. Ooh, it's a it's a hotly contested. I keep putting the trimmer on upside down. Seriously, Jennifer, what is my deal tonight? All right, I'm tired. I was, yeah, it was not a lot of sleeping last night. A lot of having fun and ordering and chatting with my team and sending you guys emails and all the things. All right, we got a four inch. Uh, I got to double check. Measure twice, cut once. They say right. Okay, so two and a quarter by four is my end game here. So I'm gonna chop that off. And I don't want to cut this pretty flower off, so I'm going to decide right here, two and a quarter by four. Now they look upside down, so it, they think they go every which way, so you can stop and take a minute to decide. All right. Oh, it's the moment of truth. Jennifer, do you have any idea who the winner is? No, I can see both people voting on, I, we did get our furnace up and running. Thank you, Paula. I'm not even wearing socks. I am toasty warm right now, friends. So let's see, mossy, 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 poppy, poppy. Ah, oh, man, it is really close, you guys. I think I see a few more mossies. All right, well, you know what? We'll cut them both and then just take a closer look and then we'll decide. All right, so uh, we're going to go with our layer piece. That's two and a half by four and a quarter. So back into the trimmer. I got it right side up. <laughs> I cracked myself up. All right, two and a four and a quarter. Four and a quarter uh, by what, Susan? Two and a half. Four and a quarter by two and a half. This mossy meadow is such a gorgeous color, and it might beat up. It might depend on who you're sending it to. Like if you're uh, sending it to a red hat lady, you want to use red, right? Um, and another friend that loves green, uh, maybe they're a Packer fan. You want to do green and gold, you know? It you can customize it. That's the beauty of making handmade cards, right? All right, then let's try the four and a quarter. I better say the word Packer very quietly. <laughs> Some very devout uh, Viking fans in my house. 
All right, here we go. We we love our we love our rivalry with our Packer friends. So there's two and a half. Okay. All right, let's take a look and see what we like best. Sometimes you just gotta see it, right? It's the big one's not. Um, so this one is very elegant right? Very elegant with the green. I, that's a surprise to me. It's just super elegant. And then let's see what it looks like with the poppy. It's much brighter and, and cheerier. So it really depends. I'm going to go with the mossy. I really like that elegant look. And I have a lot of, just happen to have a lot of leaves on this particular part of the paper that I picked. So I'm going to pick that up with the mossy. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to my piece right here. Is it midnight yet? <laughs> how late are we, Jennifer? Oh, we're, we got plenty of time. Look how quick we are tonight. All right, making two cards. All right, so we're gonna put adhesive just on the lower part of the door so that we don't glue our door shut. And then I'm just going to center it so that I have about, I'm looking to see if I have about the same amount above and below, you know, approximately, like seriously, we're the only people that are going to notice that, right? <laughs> and there we've got our card. Now we're going to do the same little trick. We're going to cut a piece of white to put on the inside and um, put that uh, place for a greeting, right? Let me bring in, I got white whisper, basic white. Oh yeah, this is the one. Okay. I got it everywhere. All right. So I'm going to cut this the same size as I did the designer paper and it's going to be four by two and a quarter. I was down at my family's Christmas tree farm. I went down to do the, um, the uh, we do a little presentation for the local uh, kindergarten group at, um, at the local school. They come out and I do a presentation for them. And uh, we had two inches of fresh snow on the ground. The kids had a ball. <laughs> we made snow angels. We rolled down the hill, uh, went for a hike in the fields. Um, it was a cold day, but it wasn't windy and, um, and it was sunny out. So that really helped. And then they, we picked out a tree for their classroom that we donate. And uh, we put it in the shaker and the kids all shake. And then we put it in the baler and all the kids crank it. And then my mom uh, bakes pine cones um, and she washes them and soaks them. And then she puts them in a very low heat in the oven for a few hours and they, they bloom or open up. These are spruce cones and then each child gets a cone to take home to decorate. The, the soaking and baking also get rid of any bugs. All right, so I've got adhesive on the back of my piece here. I'm just going to close the front of my card. And there we go. Now you've got a couple options for decorating this and you can um, add your greeting to the front like we did on this one or you can put the greeting on the inside and leave it off the, the front and just keep the front with the designer paper. There's a lot of options. Um, I have a piece of paper hanging right here and I'm going to uh, Susan has lost the stamp set. Oh my gosh, you guys, what is going on here? This is, this is me. <laughs> okay, it's not in my chair. I just had it earlier. I showed it to you. Oh, goodness. Mm -hmm. We might be leaving this blank till later because Susan lost the stamp set. What a surprise. I've got Christmas sets. I've got everything else. I just want the sentiments. Although the flowers in this set are really fun to stamp as well. Oh, is this it? How did, what did, I, get, how did I get down there? <laughs> Found it. <laughs> it was on the floor, you guys. Oh, man. Gracious. All right. So we've got um, It's Your Birthday. And then inside, oh, I don't know if that's going to fit. Enjoy your special day. Hmm. Might be longer than my paper. Let's, let's check it out, right? Oh, look at that. It just fits perfectly. It was like a, like a glove. It was made for it. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and stamp this. Um, this time, I think, 
I'm gonna do, um, let's grab a block here and we're gonna stamp this. Now I think I will use Poppy Parade ink again on this one because um, that'll pull out that Poppy Parade in the flowers. And I think uh, Mossy Meadow ink would be a little too dark, different vibe, I guess. So I'm gonna go with, it's your birthday. Right there. And then where's my punch? Where? Oh, right in front of my face. Okay, found my punch. And I'm just gonna explore here on how I wanna do this. I think I might do it like that. Whoa! <laughs> do you know how lucky I am that that did not go right in the ink pad? Seriously. Oh, that was a close call, friends. So I'm actually just gonna cut this down. I'm just using half of this punch for this greeting and I turned the punch vertically. And I'm just gonna make it kind of a little, a little tab coming in at the top of my card here. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. Did I cut that straight? Mm, close enough. Okay. And then we can add a little bit of bling and we'll add our inside greeting and we'll be all good. All right, so I'm gonna yeah. All right. I'm going to leave that open because I'm going to use it, which is very dangerous, <laughs> very dangerous behavior here. All right. Like you think it's the very seventies. <laughs> All right. I wouldn't pick this color as carpet, but it is fun on a card. Hmm. I might be, I'll put it right in the middle. Let's try that. No, I think I like it over on one side. Yeah, I'm going to go one side. Okay, there we go. And then for the inside of our card, we're going to have this one fit just perfectly. Now, it is usually a good idea on your inside piece to actually stamp it before you stick it in the card. That way, if you mess it up, <laughs> you can flip it over and stamp it on the other side. But apparently, I'm going to live dangerously today. So, fingers crossed. Enjoy your special day. That worked perfect. I got room for a note. I can even write the person's name at the top. And let's add a little bit of bling. I am going to go back to those gold. Ah, oh, found them. <laughs> Did you know what that long pause meant? That meant Susan lost something again. Mm, yeah, it's a common, common thread here in Sue Stampfield land. Okay, let's grab our... Let's grab our take your pick tool and let's add a little bit of sparkle on our card here. Now, if you've seen my videos before, you'll know that you <laughs> I, I am a little picky on my, on my uh, bling where I want to put it. And so sometimes it takes some moving around and sometimes after the video, I move it around more. <laughs> so, uh, Mm -hmm. that's kind of okay. I've got a lot of white space down here, so I've got room or I could take this guy off and put him down there. Maybe, maybe in the center of a flower, just right there. Let's try that. I might change my mind later, but we'll start with that. I'm trying to decide how I got ink on this. Seriously, I must have, maybe it did hit the ink pad when I went flying. There's a little bit of Poppy Parade ink on there. Hmm. Just means that the card was a one of a kind handmade item, right? Now, optional, you could add a piece of wild wheat ribbon to finish off your card. Totally optional. I know some of you are not ribbon fans and that is okay. That is a-okay. And of course, since this is a, a birthday card, you absolutely could put the uh, gift card pocket in here, just like we did on our Christmas version, and put our um, put our gift card right in there, right? If we wanted to do that for this birthday card. And then let me know your thoughts on the ribbon. I'm gonna pull that much tighter. My knot was not tight and let's trim this down quite a bit this uh the in color ribbons um, have a really nice woven texture to them they're quite easy to tie and they're 
um, just add a lot of texture to your card. So let me know in the comments, yes or no on the ribbon. It does kind of blend in with the background. It's, it's pretty subtle. Some of you said that this one was too busy on this card, which I totally can, can, um, um, you know, that's, that's again, personal preference, right? Um, so I'm just seeing where else we, we could put it. We could put it actually, we could make it straight and put it right above the greeting too. No ribbon, no ribbon, yes to ribbon, ribbon. Okay, dead heat. <laughs> few more yeah, yeses maybe. So I think this would be really cute with some of the new papers as well. Um, this one is a new celebration paper. It's a freebie. How elegant would this be to have the pebbled path at the bottom and then have these pretty flowers as this part and do it as a pebbled path card? Or you can flip it over and do the reverse. You could have this on the bottom and the Calypso Coral there. Of course, you do the Calypso Coral base. So many options. Um, literally so many options. <laughs> and uh, Poppy Parade. I don't have any Poppy Parade ribbon. That might have been from earlier, though. So, um, okay, now the, now the boy. Yeah. That there's there's a dead heat on the, the ribbon, whether yes or no. So I'm going to go ahead and add it. I'm just deciding where I want to add it at. Again, ribbon's always optional, but it does add a little bit of a finished look to the card. So I'm going to try it right here. And if I don't like it, I'll take it off <laughs> and I'll move it. Let's see. How about that? No, no, I do think I want it in the corner. Okay, sorry, I'm super picky. Is it midnight yet? Oh, oh no, we still, we're not even, our hour isn't even up, look at that. All right, I'm gonna trim off the ends of my ribbon here. Get it a little bit shorter. And I'm gonna pop that right on the corner. Again, very subtle, kind of blends right in, but it adds that little finishing touch. I'm stalling while I find that. Ah, found them. Take a sip, everyone. They, they were under the stamp set. You know that stamp set that I couldn't half find because it was on the floor. Mm -hmm. Yep. Welcome to my world. Because <laughs> you know what? It is way funner to make cards and make a mess than it is to clean my stamp room, at least in my world. Some of you like to clean and organize. I get that. I'm jealous. I'm not, I'm not that grown up yet. <laughs> so there we have two cards that are exactly the same but very different same products same bundle but a very different look and different versions different varieties and this one of course has that gift card in there i'm gonna pop in here so i can say goodbye oh wait no you need the dimensions hang on I nearly forgot let's take a picture friends so I'm going to bring these in here. Oh, clear the deck, Susan. Oh my gosh, people are going to be taking a picture of this mess. Seriously. I was raised in a barn. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, there is our Dutch door measurements. If you want to take a screenshot of that. And then I'll flip the camera and we'll say goodbye. And then I will do one more version with the uh, this pattern in the garden walk. And I'll put that on the C Stamp Field Facebook group. Okay, I'm moving my hands away so you can take a picture. All right, there we go. And I'm going to, oh, Linda's lost her glue dots. I, welcome to my world, Linda. I'm sorry, it's probably me. I'm a bad influence. <laughs> Thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. Quick reminder, the project sheet email is imminent. Um, as soon as I get Crafter Noon all buttoned up here, you can go to the free project sheet. Um, go to SueStampfield.com, click on subscribe, select pre free project sheet, or you can also choose um, to get the blog posts. And then don't forget that in December, we've got a clearance rack refresh. And also if you place a $50 order, uh, while supplies last, you will get a found it pack full of creative goodies, card samples, um, ribbon, embellishments, paper uh, to inspire your creativity. Thank you all so much for uh, that's with a $50 order um, in my online store. 
thank you all so much for making and sending handmade cards together. We're going to make the world a kinder place. And thanks for inspiring me. I appreciate you all so much. Have a great rest of your evening. And I'll be back on Saturday evening at 730 Central for another creative adventure. I think we're going to do, we might do the double dutch. We might do the barn door. We'll see. Take care and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.